This is TJ. In this video, I'm going to quickly introduce 40 programs that are completely free to download and use. This is one of three videos that I'm producing, the goal of which is to provide a quick introduction to these free software programs um, and give you an idea for what they can do, what's out there and available as far as free software and open source software is concerned. Um, if, they, if this piques your interest, any of these, you can watch my other videos where I do a more in-depth and detailed review of these programs, and I show you how they run, what they can create, what they can do. Um, also, you can find download links for these if you want to download them and try them out for yourself. Um, those can be found at my website, tjfree.com. And um, all of these ones in this video are, are open source software with the exception of SketchUp, which is a freeware and it comes in free and paid versions. This first program, GIMP, is a program very similar to Adobe Photoshop, great for photo manipulation and bitmap image editing. Inkscape is a program very similar to Adobe Illustrator. Um, it's a vector image editor and creator. Scribus is a desktop publishing tool, and it's similar to Adobe InDesign and, Ado and um, Cork Express. FontForge is a font editor and creator, and can also be used to convert fonts from one format to another. GPIC is a color scheme generator and a color palette creator. Digicam is a program similar to Adobe Lightroom, and it's a photo management and um, tag editing program for images and uh, organizing. It can also view files, view and, and work with raw image files. UF Raw is an, a program for working with raw image files and can work as a plugin with GIMP or is also a standalone program. ImageMagic is a program for working with multiple image files at once and altering them and editing them, but multiple at a time, or individually, I guess. It's a command line only tool. There's no graphical user interface for it. PhotoRec also has no graphical user interface, um, and it's a program for re recovering deleted files off of media storage devices like SD cards, USB drives, and even hard drives. GreenShot is a program for capturing whatever's on your screen, taking a picture of your screen, and gives you lots of functionality over what what different areas you can capture. SketchUp is a program for creating 3D art and 3D models. Sweet Home 3D is an interior design program for layouts of furniture and for visualizing a 3D space. Very easy to use and not nearly as hard as, as a CAD program would be. Dia is a program for creating diagrams and flowcharts um, and it's good for has lots of different purposes, but you can use it also to create charts that will be embedded in um, AutoCAD doc and CAD documents or different things like that. FreeCAD is a program similar to AutoCAD. BRLCAD also a program similar to AutoCAD. Blender is a 3D animation engine uh, and program. You can use it to create 3D art, 3D animations, um, as well as um, entire video games have been made and entire 3D productions. Um, similar to like the Pixar films like um, Toy Story and Finding Nemo. It's that kind of tool. Um, sim so it's similar to the program Maya and uh, 3D Studio Max. Okay, Scratch is a program um, for creating, it's like a programming language for kids kind of, but you can also do animations and create simple games with it. Synfig is a 2D animation program. Um, as well as Tupi and Pencil. These are all 2D animation programs. Uh, so like creating 2D cartoons. Spec is a spectrogram viewer for audio files. Shows you, that lets you see the quality of an audio file. Um, Cam Studio is the program I'm using right now to record this video. Looks like this. So it lets you do screencasts and create videos of whatever's on your, vi your computer screen. Record My Desktop does the exact same thing as Cam Studio, only it's a they each run under different operating systems, Windows and Linux and Mac, I think. Um, iSpy is a program for a home security program. It turns cameras and microphones into monitoring devices for your home. Virtual Dub is a program that can also, you can capture video from your webcam and you can transcode video from one format to another and do um, a little bit of video editing. In fact, all these next five programs are video editors. Avidimux, Cinelera, Lightworks, Kden Live, and OpenShot. And they all work on different operating systems and have um, different strengths and weaknesses, but they're all video editing programs. Um, this 
program here, Hydrogen, is a rhythm-based drum machine. You can create drum beats, and it's uh, as pattern-based, so it'll keep repeating over and over, and you can create um, good rhythms with it. Um, Denimo is a program for uh, creating sheet music for your computer, or using your computer to create sheet music. Lilypond does the same thing. Denimo, Denimo is kind of a front end for Lilypond. Lilypond's just the engraver side. It'll engrave the music and create really good-looking and um, sheet music. MuseScore, also a sheet music um, creator and editor. Um, it, you can import MIDI files with it, um, and also um, with Tux Guitar, you can import MIDI files with both of these, and then it'll arrange where those notes go on the MIDI files. Tux Guitar is a program for guitarists and also any other musician, but it lets you um, create com and compose sheet music, um, also guitar tablature. Mix is a DJing software. You can use it for live broadcasting or for mixing music at parties and clubs and things like that. Uh, Zen Add Sub Effects is a synthesizer engine. Um, you can use it with a MIDI keyboard or just use your keyboard to play the notes. It says for creating synthesized music. LMMS it stands for Linux Multimedia Studio, and it's a digital audio workstation um, for creating digital music and synthesized music. It also features Zen Add Sub Effects as one of the integrated programs inside of it. Our door is also a digital media workstation. Um, you can use it to record different tracks, audio tracks. Um, it's like a, something you would use in an audio recording studio. And Audacity is a program for just recording audio and applying different effects and filters to it. Um, so those are the videos, the, the, the programs in this video. Uh, go ahead and check out part two after this and part three um, where I cover 40 more programs in each one of them. Um, and appreciate you watching. Like I said, you can find more information about these and instructions on how to install them uh, and, how to, and tutorials on how to use them at my website, tjfree.com. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.